My name is Muhammad Ali and I'm a professor at Athabasca University, Canada. Today we will look at some case studies around the world to show you how mobile learning is being used around the world. So let's first of all look at course delivery using mobile devices. And it's one example of where you can use mobile technology to deliver courses. So one of the projects that I was involved with is I help design a course or convert a course for delivery in mobile devices. And this course had 500 students in three different courses and we actually had students access units in these courses using their mobile devices. So they had to complete the units and and they had a choice. They could complete one unit or they could complete many, many units. And some students decide to complete more than one unit. So it was the first actual pilot on mobile learning on how to use mobile technology to take courses at my university. And one of the things we did is we asked students what activities should mobile devices support. And 17 students says is mobile technology is good to access online assignments so that they can use the device to access their assignments so that they know what they have to do for their assignments. 15 says log into courses and study materials allows them to log into their courses so that they can access the courses to study. 12 says that they, it's good for peer-to-peer -peer interaction so that they can communicate with students, they can help each other, they can share resources, etc. 12 says it's good for computer forums or course, course forums and some people refer to that as computer conferencing. And that's where the professor teacher will pose a question and student will discuss the question and the professor will, at the end of the discussion, actually summarize the discussion. So they said it's good for computer forums, course forums. Access to quizzes, so the courses have quizzes, so the mobile technology allows them to access the quizzes whenever they're ready for the quizzes and access to help desks. 11 students said it's good to access for help desks. So they like to use the technology. If they have any problem, they can contact the person at the help desk for information. So this is a list of activities that students says it's, uh, they use the mobile de devices for. And again, it's encouraging results because this was the first attempt at using mobile technology in courses. So we are very happy to see the results. Uh, projects in English as a second language. There are many, many projects going on around the world. And we did a project on use of uh, English language for workplace, workplace training. And we looked at the, English, uh, the use of English in a variety of sectors, health and wellness, oil and gas, retail and sales, hospitality and tourism. So what we did was that we actually designed mobile learning lessons for the different sectors, for example, hospitality, retail, and sales. Depending on the sector that the student is involved with, the student will actually access the, the lessons in that sector. So for example, if the student is in banking, the student will access the banking sector. They will click on banking and personal finance and it will give them a lesson in, personal, in, in banking and personal finance. So it kind of customized the training to the, different, to the needs of the students, the, the different sectors they work on, and to workers in the workplace. The mobile lessons also have multimedia features where students can look at a video, and after the video, they can answer questions based on the video. And the video clips are anywhere from two to four minutes long. It's very important to make your video clips very short for mobile devices because of the processing capability and the download capability, etc. So this project actually uses videos and students look at the videos in their actual sector and then they answer questions in the videos. And again, if you use multimedia and mobile learning, it, uh, it's rich, it's information rich. So students don't have to read too much information, they will actually look at the video or look at the picture or graphic. We got some feedback from students about how they enjoy taking the course and how they benefit from the course using the mobile technology. And one of the questions we asked them is, the technology provides them to learn anywhere, anytime. 
and over 85% said strongly agree or agree that the technology allowed to learn anywhere, anytime, which is a major benefit of mobile learning. And again, this is one of our initial study, and again, it's very encouraging to see that students are actually benefit from the use of mobile learning. We also asked them the question, the use of the technology would, could make learning materials more easily available, which means they can access the materials anywhere, anytime. And about 70% either strongly agree or agree. So it's, they said that the, the technology allows them to access the information anywhere, anytime. It's easily available. And a very important question that we asked them is, I would like to take other lessons using mobile technology. So for most students, this was the first time they're using mobile technology to actually do some learning. And about 70% strongly agree or agree that they would like to take other courses in mobile technology. So as educators, we have to make sure we design and deliver some of our courses on mobile technology so that students can access these courses. Mobiles for lifelong learning. We have a lot of adults out there who would like to learn who would like to improve themselves, especially the older adults, uh, those who are 55 and older, who are retiring, they have time and they like to learn, continue to learn, etc. So there was a project that was completed on use of e-reader e by mature adults. And by mature, I mean 55 years or older. So we involve people who are 55 year old to get them to use e-readers, which are mobile devices, to read, find information, and to learn. In terms of the age group for the, uh, the target population, 28% uh, actually, 20% were between 50 and 55 and 60 years, 28% were between 61 and 65 years, 23% between 66 and 70, 12% uh, between 71 and 75. And we actually had some over 75 years who actually used the e-reader to learn, which was very interesting to see. And we did some uh, evaluation. We asked them the question, the use of this technology increases access to reading materials. And 75% either ag agree or strongly agree. It says the use of the e-reader allowed them to access reading materials. The e-reader features will be useful when taking a course. So we ask them to think beyond reading about taking a course. And 73% strongly agree or agree that the e-reader will be used to take courses in the future. So even people 55 years or older think that taking mo courses on mobile technology would be helpful and that they think they will learn from these courses. This is interesting. We try to find out where they use the e-reader what location they use it from. And 20% says they use it from while they travel, in the plane, in the car, or when they're in transit, maybe taking a bus. 26% said that they use it at home, but they use it on the bed. So they, they had it in the bed and they were reading in the bed. And again, because the mobile is so portable, they can take it on the bed and they can read. And the home couch, 48% says they actually sat on their couch and they use a mobile device. And 20% said they use it on their desk at home. So as you can see, the people who are 55 years or older, they use the technology in a variety of locations. It gives them the flexibility. Also, research going on in terms of use of mobile in the workplace. And a good example is the workplace learning research that's going on in the country of Qatar. Project funded by the Qatar Foundation, Qatar National Research Fund. And what this project is looking at is how to use mobile technology to reach people in the workplace so that they can improve their English. And if they improve their English in the workplace, they can communicate better with each other. So the project is involving employees at the a petroleum company in Qatar. And we have completed a couple of pilots already and a couple of implementation. And the results that we got in terms of student performance, we gave them a pre-test and a post-test. And we noticed on the post-test, their score increased increase from the pre-test. So it seems as if they're learning by using the mobile devices. 
Also, they reported that they like the flexibility of learning mo with the mobile devices because they can take it anywhere, they can use it anywhere. So yes, there are projects going on in terms of use of mobile in the workplace. So because of the flexibility, mobile learning can be used to educate all age group, can be used to in, uh, educate people in high schools, in lower schools, in colleges, in universities, in the workplace, and even they can use it for lifelong learning anywhere, anytime. Thank you very much.